um, so this was the one we have before you can see even if i reduce the size like this i click on ok it's not looking good so this is the one we just did right now what's up guys welcome back to another amazing video my name is Tunde Victor and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add that optical snoot effect like this or those windows effects like this to your image so let's get started so I'm just going to delete all this and um, show you how I did it and uh, I believe you're going to learn a lot from this video so the first thing I'm going to do after um, do your basic adjustments you're going to create a stamp visible layer by clicking on ctrl shift alternate e and you can see i've created a stamp visible layer so what the stamp visible layer did it just merge everything i just did below in a new layer for me so next thing i'm going to do right now we're going to select our subject out of the background so just come here to your selection tool click on it and click on select subject so just click on select subject and photoshop will automatically select our subject for us so after that just add a layer mask so just come here and click on layer mask and our subject has been successfully removed from the background so if i turn off all my background layer you can see so many just my subject so let me just turn that back on next i'm going to do right now i'm going to place my um window effects to this image right now so i just come to my fair i'll come i'll come to my fair i'll come to my place embedded so i'll be using this one right here for this image first so once i click on this one right here i'll click on place and i'll just change the blend mode to soft light and bring it below my subject but as you can see right now it's not it's not looking realistic and it's not making the image look realistic it's because i downloaded this thing for free and uh, the paid one are png and i'm just going to show you how to make it look more realistic so to get rid of those edges i want only these highlights to be on the image those window highlights will be on the image to do that i'll just come to my home on photoshop right here i click on open i click on this windows right here with the um, window effect which i want to use click on it and click on open and once it's open in a new tab for me next i'm going to do um i want my um select and click on color range and uh, make sure you select the highlights on the image if you select the shadows it's not going to work because we need only the highlights so make sure your highlights is selected and just set your falseness to zero percent and then your range can be uh you can set your range to any range you want but i, I prefer to set your range to i uh, think once you feel you are okay with the highlight you are seeing so just set your range like that there's no particular numbers to set your range so like this i feel it's okay like this so i'm just going to click on okay and it's going to select only the highlight for me so once my highlight is selected and i like it like this i'm just going to click on this layer mask icon right here click on ok and right now you can see i have only the highlight selected and what i'm going to do right now i'm going to click on ctrl c to copy and once i click on ctrl c to copy i'll come to my image and uh, let me just hide this one and click on ctrl v to paste and just click on my move tool and just enlarge it like this so after that i'll just change my blend mode to soft light and reduce the opacity a little bit so these are before and these are after and this was how it was before you can see those edges are there but with this one right now you can see those edges are no longer there so what i can do right now i'll just come to my um filter i come to my blur come to my gaussian blur and i'll just blur it a little bit like this and uh reduce the opacity even more and i can decide to flip it click on it and flip it like this so whichever way i want i can decide to make it bigger i can decide to make it smaller so let me just do another example for you so I'll, let me just turn that off so after selecting your subject you come to your file you come to place embedded and this time i want to use this one right here or rather let me use this one right here so i'm going to click on place and right now if i change the blend mode to soft light and i click on i bring it below my subject you can see it's not looking realistic so to make it look realistic let me just turn it off you come to your home screen and open that overlay in a new windows in photoshop so this is the overlay i'm going to open it in a new windows in photoshop and this time what i'm going to do 
i want to select only the highlights because it's the highlights we want we don't want the other part of the image to show so i'll come to my select come to my color range and just select highlights make sure the highlights are selected and just bring my fuzziness to zero percent and this range to um to where i feel it's okay so i feel it's okay right here so i feel it's okay right here and i'm going to click on okay so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to add a layer mask so once i add the layer mask i'll come to my crop tool i'm going to crop the bottom because i feel there are some tests on the bottom which i don't want to show so i'm going to click on okay to crop it so once i have only my highlight selected right now so if i turn off my layer mask you can see the before you can see i have only my highlight selected so right now i'm just going to click on ctrl c to copy it so once i copy it i'll come to my image and click on ctrl v to paste so once i paste it i'm just going to increase the size or decrease the size whichever one you want and place it below my subject and change the blend mode to soft light and come to my blur come to my filter come to my blur come to my question blur and decide to blur it with whichever radius i want so i think i'm just going to blur this one with 15 15 is okay and um see uh before and uh, after you can decide to with, um flip it if you want so just click on it and flip horizontal but i think i'm just going to leave it like this and um so this was the one we have before you can see even if i reduce the size like this and click on okay it's not looking good so this is the one we just did right now so that is how you can add optical snoot to your image or those windows effects to your image so if you want to download all this one you can just go to google and just search on windows effects and you're going to see a lot of results so just download it and just use your color range to select only the highlights because it's only the highlights we need for the image so guys that will be all for today's video and if you learned anything from this video make sure to give this video a like so that more people can see this video and learn from this video as well i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative